Brent, I should just stand right to the mic. You know, be good. <clears throat> Anyways, what do you think you've grown most since getting here? Just route running and releases and probably in the football that, field. Is that something you've focused on and emphasized, or is that something you feel has come naturally with the reps? Definitely got to focus on it and work hard for sure. Like every day, details matter. Everything Coach Gaddis tells us. What, what's it like having him as your position coach and him calling plays? It's hard, um, definitely. No days, no days off, no reps off. That's what we focus on. Were you expecting that pass and were you surprised how wide open you were? I was not um, surprised about how open I was because I was like the design of the play. So I was definitely like, expecting the ball in that play. I was specifically the play call. How did you feel when you scored that touchdown? Uh, I wasn't really thinking about like anything in a weird way. Like I was thinking about like the rivalry or like um, people watching. I was just focusing on like literally catching the ball. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction when a play like that that's kind of designed yeah. to get you open down the sideline is called with you know about a minute left yeah. in the game with already such a big lead? Um, I was just like, now's my opportunity. To, like, I knew what I was doing, practiced it so many times and everything, so it's just now's my opportunity and just got to focus. Your name came up in fall camp pretty early. Um, how long do you think it took you for you know, adjustment period here in college? What do you mean by that question? How long, how long do you think it took you to adjust to the okay. style of college game? Um, I mean, it takes a while to get adjusted, I guess, because obviously, like, way different from high school. Um, but one thing I'd probably say the biggest difference from high school to college for me so far would be the time in between, like, when you're playing literally on the field, because it's. Um, like the games are way shorter and everything in high school. And from college, you can be sitting on the sideline for like 15, 20 minutes before you even step on the field. So that's probably one of the biggest adjustments. So how do you stay focused in those long you know, periods of time? Um, we just gotta lock into the game. And you, on the sideline, we have Coach Roundtree and Coach Gaddis uh, mm -hmm. updating us and giving us like details and tips. So mm -hmm. we, that's how we focus and stay locked yeah. in most, most of the time. What stands out to you most about your fellow freshman pass catchers, whether it's Giles, Mikey, even Aaron? Um, those guys, uh, like having them, it really helps because they're right there with you. I mean, obviously everyone else on the team is too, but those guys are in your class. You're going to class with them. You have like study hall with them and everything, and just being that much closer with them, um, it's even more like of a hype feeling when like you can see your brother out there doing well. That helps. Ronnie said you've been one of the guys picking on him a little bit for not having a touchdown this year. Oh, yeah. It's easy target. Um, <laughs> it was just funny because like technically I got more touchdowns than Ronnie. <laughs> but like obviously he's like the most yards catches on the team. So I'm happy for Ronnie and he's going to keep on pushing and he'll get tons of touchdowns I'm sure. Because it's sort of fun. Right? Yeah, it was just we were just like messing around and joking. I thought that was funny. I think it was like my fourth catch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like ever. But it's uh it's, hopefully it's not gonna be my last. I know it won't be my last and um just gotta keep on working hard. What can you learn from his game from Ronnie? Ronnie, um, he's a grinder, I feel like. And if you look at Ronnie's game, um, He's, you're never gonna outwork him, I feel like. He's like very, very focused. That's what I take away from him. And I try to like emulate that from him when I see him. Is that in practice? I mean, is he- Yeah, practice and games. Pra yeah, yeah, practice games and games also. for sure. Yeah. What's he doing that's that's that extra, that extra work that um, you're doing? I just mean like finishing the play, mm -hmm. like he'll catch a pass and run down the field for like 20 yards, 30 yards even in practice. And you can see that pays off in his run after the catch in the games. So that's important to me. You got a couple rivalry games now under your belt. What 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 are your takeaways, especially from this last one? Was it just was it what you expected? You know, any expectations that you had going in yeah. that maybe paid off or didn't? Um, for me, I looked at this game. Uh, it's it's Michigan State, obviously, but I looked at this game the same way I did every other game. Mm -hmm. Honestly, um, it's the game. Mm -hmm. And you gotta come out and be ready and be focused every game. Whether you're playing Middle Tennessee State, Army, Wisconsin, whoever fourth game was, fifth game, it's the same. Like you just gotta come out and focus and bring the same energy. I'm sure our coaches would say the same thing. Like 
about that. Was it any different to you on the field, or did it feel any different to you on the field? Like maybe not in terms of like your route running, but just yeah. or anything like that. But just in, yeah. in what they were bringing to you. Um, I guess a little bit. Like um, I noticed that the game was a little more like chippy. Like people were getting their tempers flared up a little more than usual. So that's probably what I noticed mostly on the field. Well, let's hear guys' 